pay attention. So, I'm post collar knee to both sides, okay? Post collar knee to one side, all right, back to the other. So, I like this because it's so dynamic, dude. It's so dynamic. I don't have to, like, get in here. There's not a bunch of battles here. We got your midget stance, get a real stance, you know what I'm saying? Here, and there's not a big battle over like inside outside control. There's not all this hand fighting. Like I'm, I'm outside his range. I'm on his on his forehead here, okay? And I, I can play the game from the outside. And all I have to do, there's a low barrier to entry. I don't have to like win a bunch of little battles to get into where I need to be. If I can get in the stance and touch his head, I'm pretty good to go. I just start shuffling, call knee. That's all I need. That's all I need. As I move towards him, as I move towards him, his foot either has to stay there and I can get to it, or he's going to pull it back and his head comes down. And I don't care which one. Like, you don't care which one, okay? You're just creating a reaction, and as soon as he reacts, you beat him. That's it. Post, I want to go that way. Look, that leg's like so far out of the way. Keep your stance. It's so far back there. I would never think about attacking that until I start shuffling here. Okay? Come on. Here's stance. If he's wrestling me here, boom. There. I got it. All right, I just collar him, post, I collar, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle here. And he's got to respect this. If he doesn't, I'm going to pick it and run through him. And as soon as he comes back, head down. All right, now he's in a super low stance that I would just head vice every single time. But if his level is higher, come back up. If his level is higher here, I would go here, okay, and then as his leg comes back, I just, I'm underneath. All right, and so from here, what I was seeing a minute ago, as you guys were, were trying to, I was talking about the single leg position, right? So I went here, here, roll to the back side. And I talked about like, if I want a single leg, in, circle, circle, circle. If I want a single leg, I would turn my ear back inside, back inside, change knee, single leg here, right? And so come back. But if I'm looking for this duck, I leave the same ear in. This is like double leg, lefty double situation. I'm just gonna knee pound my back knee and cut the corner. Boom, here. This is all I need. This is all I need to take his back, okay? And so, the same thing, I have the duck to one side. This is all kind of built off of your instincts. When I single leg, I single leg and start coming up. I naturally turn my hip in. Like this is the instinct, turn in, okay? On my double leg, my instinct is to drive with my head. Here, drive with my head, drive with my head. And so we're playing to the instincts that you have built into your system already for our finishes, okay? So as I do this, post collar knee here, okay? If I get to the knee, boom, and I roll here, this is it's super easy to adjust to the hip. Now I could stay at the knee. Hey, quit being a retard. I could stay at the knee here, and as I hey, cut the corner, no adjust, all right? But it's really gonna wind up coming up because I'm coming up. Right, so I start at the knee as I roll, I'm gonna be coming up, 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 and that's what turns into my body lock situation here, to this side. Y'all understand why we're doing it that way, this side? Okay, 